the Philippines, with a growing population of nearly 110 million people, has been struggling with traffic in the metropolis. It was estimated in 2018, according to Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA, that around 3.5 billion pesos is lost daily due to severe traffic in Metro Manila. The situation may worsen to 5.4 billion pesos a day by 2035 if interventions will not be made. And despite the hard work of the Philippine government to control and improve the traffic situation in Manila, its efforts have only gained a very subtle improvement. Because of this, the need to expand and add multiple modes of public transportation was seen to be as one of the best options to help improve the traffic situation. Hence, the Metro Manila subway project was implemented. The Metro Manila subway system, dubbed as the project of the century according to the Department of Transportation, is described as such as it is one of the big ticket flagship infrastructure projects of the DOTR that is seen to significantly change the mass transportation landscape in Metro Manila. The Metro Manila subway project is the country's first ever underground mass rail transport system or subway that will stretch 36 kilometers from Mindanao Avenue in Quezon City to Naia Terminal 3 in Pasay City. According to DOTR, the Metro Manila subway system is expected to serve 370,000 passengers daily in its first year of full operations. Did you know that the Manila LRT system is the first metro system in Southeast Asia earlier than the Singapore MRT by three years? Current Department of Transportation Secretary Arthur Tigade said, in connection with skepticisms of the subway being flood resilient, and we quote, the technology of our Japanese construction partners is the assurance. Their experience is the assurance. The subways in Japan are never flooded and they are using that technology. And that is the same technology we are using, Tugade said. The Manila subway system project is also expected to boost the economic conditions during its construction and once it's completed through direct and indirect employment of workers and personnel. During the virtual presentation and acceptance of one of the tunnel boring machines for the subway on September 4, 2020, one of the six TBMs was revealed to the public, showcasing its gigantic size and features such as its capability of laying down 12 meters of tunnel segments daily. Six initial tunnel boring machines will be deployed for the subway's partial operability. The first TBM, which is expected to arrive in the Philippines by January 2021, and the second TBM to follow shortly in February 2021, will both be used in the tunnel excavation leading to the Metro Manila subway's partial operability by December of 2021. A total of 25 tunnel boring machines will be used for the entire project, and the Metro Manila subway project is projected to be fully operational by 2024 or 2025. The Metro Manila subway is a flagship project under the Duterte's administration Build 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 program. Once partial repairability is completed by December 2021, Filipinos will then be able to relate to the ease and comfort of traveling from one place to another just like with the rest of the developed countries in the world.